Good morning friends, welcome back to my kitchen. I am happy to have you back and share with you a recipe. I've been keeping some pumpkins for quite a long time now and I've come up with a recipe for them. It's a quick and simple recipe. It's a no bake, no oven, no cooking and the ingredients are simple and readily available. We are making pumpkin gingerbread bars and so to our ingredients we'll have so i've been keeping these pumpkins for four months now and they are just okay so long as the top is there they'll keep fresh we'll use a cooked pumpkin which has been mashed in this recipe pumpkins are good very rich in vitamin a on the left side we have ingredients for our crust and on our right side we have ingredients for our filling the ingredients are simple here we have ginger and salt a quarter teaspoon of each molasses a teaspoon a teaspoon of olive oil we have dates seven of them we have a quarter cup of coconut which is desiccated we have a, a half a cup of roasted groundnuts on this other side we have one tablespoon of olive oil one tablespoon of honey we have a teaspoon of cardamom a teaspoon of ginger and a teaspoon of salt we have a quarter cup of desiccated coconut we are using 200 grams of cooked and mashed pumpkin and two tablespoons of lemon juice or lime juice or orange juice. We have also prepared our mold where we are going to pour our bread. In this recipe you are using a food processor and in goes your ground nuts. The first ingredients are going to be that of the frosting. We have the dates. We have the coconut. We'll also add the salt and ginger powders. Then to our oil. This is just for binding them together. And our molasses, very rich in iron and potassium and magnesium. Process this for two minutes until coarsely grounded and then add this to your mold. Coconut and groundnuts are rich in good oils which are good for our health. Groundnuts are rich in omega 6 and 9. As I had said earlier, the molasses are rich in calcium, magnesium, potassium and iron which are good for blood building, for hormonal function, and for bone development. We are going to process a little further to ensure they are binding together. And as I've said, pour this to your mold. This takes roughly two minutes. If you have a high power processor, it will take a shorter time here we are pressing it to the mold evenly we have we need them to be thin and nice yes and so we're going to keep this aside and prepare the filling which we'll add on top for the filling in a food processor add your desiccated coconut Next, you add your powders, the cardamom, the ginger, and your salt. We have our lemon juice there. Next, we add our oil. Then to our honey, which will act as our sweetener for the filling. You can use molasses, you can use jaggery, maple syrup, 
and lastly we will add our pumpkin the pumpkin is unsalted it is homemade i prepared it prior and you'll cover this and pulse this something to note also himalayan salt is very rich in potassium which is good for the heart also a researcher who is a scientist has proven that the more sodium chloride you have in your body the more you will tend to weight gain and the more potassium chloride you'll have in your body the more you'll have a tendency to lose weight so i'll recommend you to embrace using himalayan salt because it has a lot of potassium as compared to the common table salt which is heated and has more sodium than potassium there we have poured our frosting and we'll allow this to chill for one hour in a refrigerator for it to be firm and form the bars so here we've already removed it from the refrigerator and we've diced it and here they are ready to be munched allow them to cool because they're from the refrigerator remember to eat to the glory of god also to be a channel of light wherever you are the lord depends on you if you like this recipe remember to give it a like and subscribe for more videos